Hi, my name is Will Enfinger, and I am a simulation operator for ICF International, and we were hired by the Air Force to come in and work uh, at the 673rd Medical Group in Anchorage, Alaska. I started in simulation about four years ago. I fell into it uh, actually by going to a Melage conference. I have a background in theater and a little bit of makeup, so I uh, had this opportunity to go and, and learn and met a bunch of great people in simulation. Three weeks later, I had my first job as a, as a simulation specialist. So. Well, the types of simulation we do vary everything from uh, basic EMS skills. So we have a very unique uh, perspective and a unique position with military training because our techs are expected to be a combination of medical professionals that don't have a full range of training. So we have EMTs who are supposed to act as nurses and as any other type of medical tech, uh, any other specialty. So we can approach that with Team Steps training, which is a communication skill uh, skill set, and we can also do our basic skills that the military requires us, and then add on top of that orientation to uh, new units in the in the hospital by doing in situ training or uh, by bringing folks in who are unsure uh, of certain skills. Like if you move from labor and delivery to med surge, it's a completely different skill set, and so we can bring you in and train you. I think the, the, my first instinct is to say I want to see the simulators become even more advanced. And that's a very unsettling thought, I think, to a lot of people. Because if you make them more advanced, they're going to become more realistic. And the more realistic they are, the less believable they become. Because now students know this isn't going to be a, a, a patient that I'm imagining. They're almost too real. And while I'm looking forward to seeing uh, a piece of equipment that I can utilize as realistically as possible. I don't know if it's going to be the best idea. So having uh, a way to just really incorporate the simulation world into an everyday training environment is probably where I'd like to see that go. Um, having an atmosphere of simulation, uh, a program that's never questioned. Everyone knows in a healthcare setting or in a school that this is how we do simulation and there's not a question on well is this real can I do this with this mannequin can I not do this that they can walk in and just see this is the way it is it's, it's realism in healthcare training that's I'd like to be there when that happens uh, my presentation with Gavin Gardner we presented as uh, Specialists that having a, a, a certain way of looking at technology in a simulation center. And our focus was more on not technology like audiovisual or uh, trying to develop a wireless network or trying to expand current networks and how to, to jump on uh, you know, different uh, platforms that already exist. We think that the biggest part of any simulation center, the largest piece of technology, and a lot of people tend to ignore, is their simulator. SimMan 3G is my most important piece of technology. And to, to quote uh, Clint Bodily, who is our representative, he said, you can't spend 90 days a week planning out AV and not know how to calibrate 3G's blood pressure. And that's exactly what we took to heart and, and tried to present to everybody today is you, you can plan all you want for new technologies, but if you don't know the technology you already have and the delivery methods you can use with that, you're missing the point in simulation. So this is actually my third Sun event, and I, they get better every single time I come. And I, I, I thoroughly enjoy meeting everybody, and I love, uh, of course I love everyone from Laredal, because they're the best. but. It's, it's great to, to have a manufacturer and, and a, as a sponsor care enough about the end users and, and give us something like this and sponsor a way for us all to, to get together and share best practices. Uh, that's probably been said a thousand times, but it's true. We, we learn best from each other. This is a giant debrief, and we all get to participate and talk about it and, and learn from, from everyone else's uh, viewpoints.